Today's video so requested one and I was asked to make a beautiful wall decor using foam boards. So I got this trifold foam board from Michael's Craft Store because it's harder than the ones you get at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this for the project. I'll be using just one of this trifold foam board for the project and I'm going to be splitting the middle into two and I won't put the X-Acto knife right down to the bottom. This is the X-Acto knife that I'm going to be using and it's really sharp. And for this project, you're going to be needing a really sharp X-Acto knife to give you precise cuts. If you already have an X-Acto knife, you can just get extra blades from the store. The designs that I'm going to be drawing out will be two inches thick. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. My large trifle board is going to be glued to a cardboard. I'm going to be cutting down this cardboard to size and this is going to be the base. I'm going to start making my cuts on the first flap on the trifle board. Here's my first cut. Now the second cut is going to be on the other side. They're going to be alternating and I'm going to be doing this on and on and on till I get to the very end. For the middle of the trifle board, I'm going to be cutting out all of the pieces to make the pattern. Now back to the first flap, I'm just going to be lifting it up from where it was glued and making sure that it rests at an angle. And then for the side that's at the back, I would have to cut some parts of the first one just so that I can have the front come up just a bit. For the alternating side, I will have to remove the whole board and then glue it back like this. Like I said before, the middle part would have to have all its pieces out and then glued manually. But with the ones that are by the side, because I already attached it to the cardboard that's at the bottom, I'm just going to be making the cuts and opening it up so that it will maintain a uniform angle with the rest. The boards for the alternating pattern are going to be removed and glued down to form an angle just like I did for the other side. Now I know I'm supposed to follow the inspiration photo, but I want to make it a little bit more colorful. I'll be using a colored contact paper 
this red contact paper and it is going to be inside the pattern. You might be wondering why I cut mine into smaller pieces before attaching them to the design. I did not have enough contact paper, that was why I had to take this route. Now if you have enough of contact paper, it is much better and it's going to save you a lot of time to just attach the contact paper to whatever it is you're using as the base. I used a cardboard box. And if I had enough of contact paper, I would have just attached the contact paper to the box before attaching the foam board on top. That was going to save me a lot of time. But like I said, I didn't have enough, so that's why I had to do this. Now I'm going to be making a border for my pattern and all I did was just cut a little piece of foam board and attached it to the sides. I attached it to the wall with command strips and this is what it looks like. Now you can see that the outer sides are hanging because I just left them at an angle and that's not really going to stay long enough so what I did was to use contact paper on foam boards cut them into little pieces and then attach them so that they can stay firmly together when I was done I looked at it and you won't really notice the difference, but I can assure you that it is much more stronger than leaving the flaps the way they were before. Like I said before, this is a requested video and it was all white, but because I wanted to add a spritz of color, I added red as the base. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.